Hey there, folks. Before I get started with today's battle, I just want to direct you all to my LP channel where I posted a playthrough of PETA's Pokemon Black and Blue, which isn't like Shofu's or Wild Chase's because I actually like the damn game. So anyway, let's get straight down to today's UU battle, which is against Pokemon Trainer Phil, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. He's got quite an interesting team. Um, interesting in that he's got three water types. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, I'm... I was expecting him to lead off with Azelf, and that's, so that's why I left off, let off with Mew, because I really didn't think he could do too much against my Mew. He leads off with Azumarill, I'm, real, I'm still not thinking that he's going to be able to do anything. Uh, Mew, I thought I was going to have to retire from this team, um, based on the fact that Mew went up to OU the last update cycle, but then it went back down to UU this past update cycle. So, good thing that I went three months without a UU battle, I guess. Anyway, um, I, I don't think that Azumarill was banded based on the damage, but even so, it looks like I've got nothing to fear at all, so uh, obviously I can't do anything against Registeel, so I'm going to want to switch out, and I'm going to go out into my Arcanine. Um, I should mention, by the way, this is our second time going through this battle, uh, or, so we had a disconnect on about turn 4 or 5, and usually I say, um, when that happens, let's just start fresh, but in this case, I kind of wanted, I mean, it was only on turn 4 or 5, and there wasn't really any hacks, so I figured, let's just try it again. So, um, I go for the Flare Blitz, and here I get a crit. The last time, it actually took me two turns. I didn't get the crit, but, you know, the, the recoil works out for the exact same because I do manage to take him out, and recoil is one quarter of HP dealt, so... Gonna want to switch out. Not gonna want to take an Aqua Jet. This team really, really needs, um, a Wish Passer. Or it needs more recovery. I, I'm thinking I'm gonna take out Bandit Arcanine. I'm gonna really redo this team. Uh, it really doesn't do too well in today's metagame. Um... I really like Combine Verzion in UU, but I, I, I would need to design a team around it. Um, so I'm probably going to be redoing this team quite a bit, if not completely retiring it. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm glad that I didn't have to replace Mew with um, my Yuxi, uh, as it looked like I was going to have to do, uh, because uh, Mew has reliable recovery in the form of Roost. Uh, Roost always makes people laugh. They're like, ah, Roost, why would it go for Roost? Um, I don't actually think it gets another recovery move, except for maybe softballed in Gen 3 or something weird like that. I don't think it gets recover, but anyway, Roos has more PP anyway, so I'm going to obviously want to switch out. I'm back up to, up to full health, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself. going to switch out into Kazulu, my Tangrowth. Uh, Regenerator is an awesome ability to have. Um, I, ha I just finished redoing my other UU team. And that has, like, I think it has two Regenerator Pokemon on it, and Regenerator teams are just so awesome for if you like that strategy of lots and lots of switching, because you regain, you regain all the health, and um, it allows you to be a lot more um, versatile, let's go with that. So, my Sleep Powder misses against his eyes off, which is really, really lame, and I do the Calyx, and I see that I should be able to take a Fire Blast, um... And I do, I live on 16. Now, he thought that was kind of lame, I think. Uh, we were in the battle chat. But, again, I calc it, and it wasn't very likely that he would KO. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, based on the standard as I'll set. And based on the fact that he had left over. So, anyway, gonna go out and switch out into Hugabug. Um, hoping that he doesn't get the first turn wake, because he actually does outspeed everyone on my team. Um, I guess I should could have sent out Empoleon and gone for the agility, but... Uh, anyway, gonna just go for the Bug Buzz here, not predicting anything. He obviously predicts that, has that register, but this is good because that means that when Azelf comes back out, I know it's gonna be asleep for at least one turn, uh, one full turn, so uh, that's that's awesome. Going to go out into Clank, thinking he's probably gonna want a Thunder Wave, or, um, I don't know. He goes for Seismic Toss, which is great, so his set is... Thunder Wave, Seismic Toss, Stealth Rock, and Earthquake, most likely. I, th I think I saw Earthquake already. If not, I saw it later in the match, so I'm just spoiling it for you. Um, but Clank should be able to take an Earthquake. Anyway, go for the Substitute, get behind a sub, and now I'm going to be able to get off a Focus Punch against this Azumarill. So this Azumarill has leftovers. Good to know. Um, going to go for the Focus Punch. Uh, he goes for the Aqua Jet, breaks my sub, ain't gonna do anything else. Um, I'm actually quite curious about what set this guy is running. Maybe it's, uh, yeah, I mean, Leftovers haven't really seen on a zoom reel too often. Usually I just see them banded. Um, but he survives, and, um, that sucks. So gonna want to switch out. Uh, gonna switch out, not wanting to take an Aqua Jet. Although, I mean, I do have 
fairly good defense. I'm also I'm worried that it's working with waterfall. Anyway, he goes for focus punch, so this is probably a sub punch set. So unprotected focus punch, really awesome. But ain't very effective. Ain't gonna do jack to my Mew. And I figure this is a great opportunity to KO, but he'd be kind of silly to stay in. Uh, he does stay in, goes for the Aqua Jet. Um, I should have just gone for the Roost. Uh, it would have been better off. But uh, then he survives on a sliver HP. Um, I guess I'm glad he didn't go for the sub. Well, it, had he gone for the sub, we would have just broken a sub. Anyway, he's going to go for another Aqua Jet. Going to get me down to under half, and I'm going to go for another second to KO the Azumarill. And that is surprisingly only the second KO of this match, even though we're already over halfway through. Uh, now out is going to come Azelf. It's sleeping, but I can't really do anything because my only attacking move is Psychic. Going to go out into Hugabug, knowing that he's going to be asleep for at least one turn. Um, now he's probably going to switch out. Uh, switch out is really kind of obvious. So I believe I predict that and go for the Thunder. Uh, against his Registeel. Now, I do the Calyx and see that I don't think Thunder's even a 3-hit KO, but might as well try. It's a shame that I'm not, uh, it's a shame that I'm not Specs, because I were Specs, I could have KO KO'd with two Thunders, and basically the, his entire team would have been annihilated by it, but, you know, I like Leftovers, and I like the surprise of Leftovers. Anyway, he has Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw! That is so strange, but I guess it makes sense because ghost types aren't hit by um ghost types aren't hit by what you call anyway I go for the flare blitz here just to KO uh and I figure if he sends out Empoleon uh predicting the well, actually I don't know close combat would have been the better move I figure so anyway I realize I have just enough health to switch out here um Sharpedo's probably gonna go for the protect anyway um but gonna switch out into Mew now why would I switch into Mew when my only attacking move is um one of my only attacking moves, I guess, because I needed, I needed a free switch in for Sleep Fodder. Uh, not Sleep Fodder, I'm sorry. I needed a free switch. And so, uh, Sharpedo, just gonna go for the crunch. And here, I'm hoping that my Arcanine can take him out with an extreme speed. I actually do the Calx. I see that he's got the leftovers, and I'm like, oh crap, I always bank on these guys having Life Orb. That's all I've ever seen Life Orb on this guy, but Leftovers is gonna screw me over because I do the Calx, and it's like, very, very, very unlikely that I'm going to get the KO with Extreme Speed. And that's my only priority move on this team. So I'm really, really hoping that I can KO with Extreme Speed. But I know it's not going to be this case. So my only hope is that I'm going to get him down to fairly low. And the thing is, if he's not running... Well, you can't run Swords Dance. There's no... If, if this guy had Swords Dance, then he'd be Uber. Or at least you, OU. But anyway, he's going to take me out. Um, and I think he probably doesn't have Aqua Jet. Otherwise, he would have used it. Um... I, so, I'm not actually sure, and it's interesting that he went for the Earthquake, um, maybe he doesn't have Waterfall. Now, here, here I make a big mistake, I should have switched out, gone, gotten Regenerator boot, or regenerator Health back, then when I switched Tangrowth back out, it could not have been KO'd by an Ice Fang. I'll put up the Calcs, but oh my god, that was the big mistake of this match, I should have sacrificed Clank, it would have been so much better. Here, Sharpedo's gonna go for Earthquake gonna get me down. I'm actually able to take that because Sharpedo's attack ain't that great. I get down into Pattaya range. This is the one, this is one of a very few changes that I've made to this team for Black and White 2. Uh, Clank now also has Ice Punch instead of um, Shadow Punch. But anyway, Empoleon versus Empoleon. Uh, he's gonna go for Agility. I'm not sure why, um, but even with the Pattaya boost, Grass Knot ain't gonna do enough. Uh, I mean, it's just regularly effective. Now he's gonna go for Grass Knot, take me out, and my last Pokemon is Golurk. So, Golurk is weak to Hydro Pump, weak to... Well, I mean, my only hope is that he's going to go for the Hydro Pump and miss. It was really risky for them to go to the Hydro Pump. He should have gone for the Grass Knot. But he didn't, and that is good game. Had I only taken up... Had I been able to take out the Napoleon, um, his Azelf would have asleep and I might have won. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.